everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and we're here to work on, or do a collage for the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. I just want to show you really quick this card finished. We did these um, card toppers or journal toppers or just clusters to be used in your journals the other day. Um, on my channel, there is a video for it, but I just wanted to show um, anyone who, who watched and wondered what I did with it. I just put some of that Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck, um, it's that remake catalog that I have some of that behind it and a little piece of Tim Holtz um, tissue there and then just put that on top of it and just to, like that you end up with a pretty nice card so anyhow just wanted to show you one completed so you knew what it looked like forgot to plug in my uh, microphone sorry 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 shaking everything okay so if you're not familiar with the Marguerite Miller collage challenge it's a 52 week prompt assignment challenge and um, so each week you get six prompts um, it, the idea is to use five. You can replace one of the five with the bonus if you choose, or you can use all six. It doesn't really matter. Uh, she just gives you that bonus in case there's something you don't have or don't want to use or whatever, but you can do five or all six. Um, I will leave her information in the description box below this video so that you can go uh, check out her channel and her um, Etsy is Mellow Miller. And that way, if you choose to order the assignments or whatever, you can do that. She has an actual planner. She has the planner in digital download format. And she has um, just the prompts, which is what I have. They look like this here. And it just gives you all six prompts. And so I have done a collage for every uh, week of the challenge so far. Plus, I did all of her assignments last year as well. There is a playlist for all of these. Um, if I forget to put one of these in there, just let me know. Somebody did that last week and that was very helpful. Thank you so much. Um, I try to remember, but you know, sometimes time just gets away from you or you just space it or whatever. So anyways, these are all in there. If you'd like to watch one of the weeks, uh, just go ahead and do that. That was last week, our 80s, or no, that was the week before. Oh yeah, that was last week, sorry. I'm reading the back of this one. Durr. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so um, I'm going to take my page out. I didn't do that yet. I forgot to do that. I am using just a mixed media um, notebook that I got from Walmart. Nothing fancy. It is nice to have the mixed media because then like today I'll be spritzing a little water. It just, you know, it just helps if you have that kind of paper. Don't have to have that kind of paper. And I like this one because it comes out and goes back in. That way I don't have to worry about banging into those. So anyhow that's just my take on it and I like I said I just got it at Walmart it's nothing fancy and you can get them you can make them smaller make them out of altered uh, books lots of things you can do so anyways blah 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 right um we are on week 25 so the first prompt is a map I have a map of the United States just it just went with everything that I chose uh, something found underwater. I have an octopus, a flag, I have the American flag, uh, a picnic item, I have a hot dog in a piece of bread with some really wilty, disgusting lettuce. But hey, it, it, picnic, you know, hot dogs. <laughs> it's one of the cutouts from the collage book that I have. Yeah, it's that's a very weird thing. There's cheese on there. I don't know. It's just kind of strange because I think what's strange to me is that lettuce looks like super wilty. Anyways, and then uh, the sun or moon I'm going to use out of my antiquarian sticker book, this sunshine. Okay, so that's what we have. Oh, and the last thing was your handwriting. So I have some craft colored tissue paper. I got this on Amazon, a whole package of it, and I'm kind of stoked just because... Um, it really reminds me of sewing tissue, and sometimes you just want the plane without uh, the designs or lines or whatever on it. So, yeah, I found that. So I'm going to actually do that portion first just because it'll make it easier because it needs to dry a little bit. So how y'all doing? I hope you are all doing fabulous. I'm having a pretty good day. Just, uh, you know, my normal, getting stuff done. <laughs> I'm pretty much spent the whole morning doing laundry and uh, cleaning and doing stuff. 
so I didn't get much done for the shop this morning other than my normal like posts and all that but mostly trying to get stuff done around the house which is a constant as you all know I'm sure because you're probably in the same boat it's never ending but yeah it's been a good day. The sun is shining, so I am one happy girl. I do love the sunshine. It puts me in a much better frame of mind than the rain. Okay, I don't quite need this to be this far out, I don't think. Okay. I wanted it torn down already because I don't need to write all over the whole piece. Not necessary. And so I'm just going to... My handwriting is atrocious. I really don't like it, but I will, you know, muddle through. I'm doing let let freedom ring because it seemed to fit my whole <laughs> the the whole thing. It's kind of a uh, Fourth of July, obviously fitting for this time of the year, right? I'll do print too. Try to. It's funny, I do like a combo of print and um, I keep doing lowercase, uppercase. <laughs> you can tell I don't write very much anymore. Isn't that amazing how if, I mean I write some things but not, not like when you're uh, younger and you're writing all the time, you know? But yeah, it's very strange how that kind of goes. And um, my handwriting's just kind of gone to the birds anyway. With the uh, whole tremor thing. But what are you going to do, right? I don't think I've really heard much of anyone say, I love my handwriting that does this stuff. It's kind of funny. And I don't think I'll need a whole lot in the middle. Maybe I'll just do like one more over here. Because I don't know what it is about your own handwriting. I'm sure some people like their handwriting, but I'm not one of them. Anyhow, blah, blah. All right. I am going to spritz it with um, just water. I'm... Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just wipe it with Uh, a paper towel because this is just I forgot to say a Stabilo all pencil and it's water soluble so that means it kind of spreads out when you spray spray it like that with water and I've used them before so a lot of you have probably seen them but if you're new welcome and uh, yeah that's what that is <laughs> so anyway it just kind of moves around and just makes it a little more interesting than if you just left it plain all right, so I'm going to get this dry and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I also went ahead and did a couple spritzes with the Distress Oxide Spray Tumbled Glass. Just, I don't know, liked it. <laughs> so that is there. So I did not ink these yet. Let me do that. So yeah, I hope you guys are starting to enjoy the summer. I know some places are excessively hot. Others of us are just today is going to be the first day that it's going to be hot here in the 90s and it's supposed to be that way all week and then the temperature is supposed to fall again. So we're kind of doing this weird um, extremes <laughs> of temperature, but at least the sun is shining. So I will take it for a few days and be very happy, but I know a lot of you are just in sweltering heat and humidity and I am sorry. I know. It's always something, right? We just can't ever be happy. <laughs> and I'm I'm awful, so I'm I understand. I do not like excessive heat or cold. So yeah, I am in complete understanding. And definitely not a fan of humidity. So anywho. But I hope you're at least you know, having some fun. I know I've seen some cool pictures of people's garden, like flowers and um, just the fun stuff, you know, the good stuff about all of it. So yay. 
That's always great. I love garden stuff and yards and everybody getting outside more is always nice. We did, we were able on Father's Day to sit outside. I think I already said that, which was lovely. So it wasn't super duper warm, but it was warm enough and the sun was shining for a bit. So we got out there while it was there and enjoyed it. Some crazy weather. But it does that. It goes up and down. Some years are great, other years not as great. Don't know. Yeah, this hot dog. <laughs> Definitely not the traditional version, but I figured, yeah, a picnic, that sounds right. You know how sometimes you can't find something, so you get something else for a substitute. That's what I sort of feel like. Like you didn't have buns and you so you get sorry. Um bread instead. All right, I'm not sure how I want this. I just know I'm gonna need a little something because this isn't quite tall enough. I could also tear a piece of that off, which I might do. Because this, I think, is gonna be pretty tall. I thought about orienting it the other way because of the way the octopus is, but then the map doesn't fit. I think I'm gonna put this right in his little tentacle here like he's holding on to the flag. Put it behind like that. Maybe. <laughs> and then the hot dog down here. I might have to orient it the other way in order for it to fit right. I don't want to, I don't want to pull anybody off the United States. <laughs> uh, hmm. I guess it could come out this way a little more. We'll have to figure out where we want our sun, but I figured that's kind of an easy one. I can put it just about anywhere. But he's ready. He's got his hot dog and his flag. He's ready for the 4th of July. And I think I might just take a piece of this. Make it a little bit higher. The dip is right. It needs to like be the opposite way. But both of them are written like like that. Is it a little bit better? I want to chop people off. Maybe dip down and just get some of the blue more. But that won't look as weird. I mean, it can it can get partially covered. It's just this piece is so big that I'm just not loving it. Let me see here. A little music paper always helps everything.
feel like it's covering too much, but I have to get it to work. Can you see him okay? Yes. Maybe we don't want this. Maybe we want to write it on something else. I just feel like it's not working like that. I feel all that, all that for not, right? Isn't that always the way? Um, let me grab another pen. These are my Arteza um, alcohol markers in there, working super great. But let me see if I can write it up here on this. It's not going to be big enough. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Thwarted plans, right? Um, I just am not liking the way that's looking, so that's why. I want to change it. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I have torn this down a little bit. I tore off the bottom part. Nothing against Alaska and Hawaii. I <laughs> just too much. It was just too huge. So anyway, I took those off. I think I'm going to use a little bit of Tim Holtz tissue to kind of give me a little um, like the numbers in the background kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry, that was just like I was having a complete brain fart with that. <laughs> Could not. I could not get it together. So, anyways, and I didn't want you guys to be tortured through me trying to figure out what in the world the plan was, because I didn't know. And I mean, you know, sometimes it's good to watch that process, but uh, also it can get real um, kind of frustrating, both for me and for you. So, I decided to just stop it there and then figure it out. <laughs> not sure still if this is going to work, but we're going to try. I want to save this 755 because I'm not wanting it. Well, probably not going to be able to. It's all right. There's more of it on the roll. It never tears the way I want it to, but that's okay because, you know, it's uh, it looks cool when it's just kind of not exactly like you want it. So what I want to do is kind of just get this in this sort of vicinity, I think. So I'm going to go for that kind of there, taking a mental note of where all the things are. I don't know if that always works, but yeah, so anyhow. <laughs> uh, I thought that was going to work, but it was just too big of a piece, and I just was not liking uh, how big just that one thing was so sometimes you gotta do it you gotta just and I was too busy worrying about it as a whole you know the whole United States kind of thing and I need to not do that you sometimes you just gotta um, break it into the part for collage fodder you know you gotta like uh, kind of separate yourself from the emotional part of it I guess maybe and um figure out what looks right. If that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain it than that, so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of this, just one piece. I mean, I might add some other pieces too, but mainly this one up at the top. So you can see my handwriting, because otherwise, what's the point of the prompt? And I don't mind some wrinkles, but obviously I'd like it to be legible. I'm gonna put this up here somehow once it's done. And I know there's like kind of a spot there that's naked, but um, that's not a big deal. I can add other things. I'll probably put the sun there anyway, so that's fine. I have this piece of well, Sears and Roebuck. It's like the directory page or whatever. This one's actually kind of cooler. Or index page. Same thing. Do I want music or do I not? Tore my long piece because I was trying some different things. 
The map is just throwing me off today. I think we'll use more tissue, I guess. You know, it gets me sometimes. <laughs> it just really gets me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Tissue is really hard to tear with this thing, but I, if you want a little bit straighter, it works a little bit better than trying to do it freehand. I just decided this might be a good sort of neutrally background for this to use the Tim Holtz tissue. of trying to force that because it wasn't working for me. Yikes. This tissue is pretty sturdy for tissue paper, honestly. It, um, I'll probably tear it now because I said that, but it holds up pretty good with doing the gluing and stuff, so it's good stuff. Which I'm sure you all know already. I'm sure everybody's <laughs> had had some at some point. I didn't get glue right there. That's the one thing. It's pretty forgiving. <laughs> and of course, it, you don't you don't have to add the uh, ink if you don't want to. Okay. Liking that better. That's feeling better to me. It was just I don't know, it's just like a big block and I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was it was causing me a block. So What we'll do. This is from 1969, this um, reprint of the Sears and Roebuck catalog that my sister found for me. And it just is, I don't know, it's just neat the type and just all of it I like. So basically just getting a background here that we can use. All right, now I'm starting to feel better about it. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I really appreciate you guys. And I want to say welcome um, again to all the new subscribers and welcome back to all my continuing subscribers. I love you guys so much. You're just so awesome. Always nice comments. And I love comments, so please, please comment. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you like my content. And um, yeah, it's just, it really does help my channel if you leave a comment and like and all that. I mean, I know it's easy to not because, you know, a lot of times we watch on our televisions or whatever, and I totally get that. And, you know, we have lives. <laughs> That's also an aspect, right? Um, but yeah, if you ever can or you have time or whatever, it would be awesome because it really does help. Try to work this way. So yeah, if, if you got a minute. it helps with the algorithms that makes them um, put you on you know the list of those videos that you see down below videos you're watching that are like you might like you know so uh, yeah that's what that helps with when other people like and subscribe and do all that comment it just is activity on your channel and um, 
that makes them put it up, you know, more. So it's helpful. All right, liking it better. I was struggling with that. Okay, I think we're good for for other stuff on there. And then of course we will put the sunshine as soon as I get these down, because I'm not sure exactly where I want that. And that's not my hugest concern at the moment. Let's get this piece down. I need a new piece of this. Even though I just did that. <laughs> I know, but it had glue and I don't want to get it on these main pieces. I just set it over to the side and I'll reuse it in a minute once that glue dries. These collage challenges are really super fun and they definitely make you think outside the box for sure. Um, this was also another kind of crazy combination of things but it really is a lot of fun and I love seeing you know what other people come up with when I've got a minute and can check out what everybody's doing. I don't get a whole lot of uh, video watching time because this is my full-time job so I'm either doing this or Glowforge or what you know prepping for other videos or whatever. So don't always get a lot of time to watch. I'm sure most of us don't so that's just catch them when you can right? Okay I'm gonna get him glued together so that at least that part we got secured. Get a little glue on here. I think that's a good maybe just a tiny bit more. Whoa. It keeps wanting to do that. Okay. And of course my art glitter glue is clogged. I haven't used it in a few days, so had a busy weekend. For me it's Tuesday. Uh, but it's the first day I've made videos this week. Yesterday's I had done. don't have any major stories. <laughs> it's pretty quiet around here. My son went to do deliveries with the Geek Squad. <laughs> Cracks me up. Something different for him, so it'll be interesting when he comes home to see what he says about that. I'm sure he had a blast. Oops. They're installing TVs and stereo systems and all that and he loves anything well anything tech honestly he uh, just ripped the little top part of that flag so hopefully I can get it on there without it looking weird there's too many weird um, bits to this <laughs> with the octopus and I can't glue down his leg all the way either because I need to get that hot dog in there. This top part's good. Get the glue off of that. And thanks for all your nice comments on my paper dyeing experiment there with my sister. That was a lot of fun and it was fun uh, drawing those fairies on that. It was so funny because I just was um, standing there and my sister, you know, my niece called and we were chatting with her and as we're chatting I'm looking at that piece of paper and I just keep seeing fairies and flowers and all that kind of stuff. And so then I just started doodling while I was standing there chatting with them. and. Before I knew it I was done I was like I really should have filmed that part it would have been too long but um, if I could have filmed some of it at least and then maybe fast forward or I don't know but yeah so if you guys would like a video like that just let me know and I can always 
do something like that again maybe I mean I, like I said that was totally spontaneous and just sort of uh, came out of nowhere so but yeah those were those were fun okay we're gonna use this sunshine and these aren't very sticky so I do put glue on the back of those I don't know why because they're they're not washy they're supposed to be stickers but they just really aren't sticky at all tiny tiny sticky okay now I have to figure out where to put it <laughs> Maybe over here would be good, huh? Since we kind of have a spot where there's not a ton happening. And then we need our number for this week. There is that oddly blank spot up there, but I'll figure something out. These numbers are in my shop, in my Etsy shop, if you're interested. They're just um, laser cut black numbers. They're just kind of fun to add to things like, you know, stuff you do with Tim Holtz, uh, paper dolls or just Tim Holtz stuff in general. They're just fun to add on. And if you're doing this collage, um, you don't have to do those. That's just something I like to do, is put the number on there. I've done that since the beginning. I just like it like that. I'm trying to think of what else. I think that's good. A map, something found underwater, a flag, a picnic item, the sun or moon, and my handwriting is up there. So. Maybe we can do some stamping on there. Oh, I know what I want. Where's my... I have the avalanche again because of making a journal. <laughs> Every time I make a journal, I end up with the avalanche happening. And that's just kind of the way it is. but that's okay. Sorry, no, that's very crinkly and obnoxious. Okay, I'm going to make one. What I want to, what I do if I'm using these Tim Holtz um, ticket stamps and I just want part of it, I just try to hold it where it's just going to get part of it. And then you can always turn it over and wipe off whatever uh, part got ink that you might not want. Like I don't want that whole one right there, so I'm just going to get the ink off of that part. The, it's right here. It's bothering me. <laughs> I know it's so stupid, <laughs> but I uh, can't help it. <laughs> the OCD or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. Maybe a little crackliness. Where'd that one? I think this uh, stamp was from <gasps> B 
3D craft maybe? I'm not really sure. I, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. It's been a few years. But I know Tim Holtz has that cool crackle one. Um, Tammy gave me one of those and that one's very cool too. So th they're definitely out there. Just adds a little something to stamp on it. Don't have to do that either. Adding the little tube that the Tim Holtz tissue paper was in. They kind of, there's these weird bigger splotches. They sort of remind me of spider webs, but um, let me think of one up here. I think that'll work. So, yes, another kooky <laughs> collage from me. But those prompts, it's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and don't ask me how I came up with a flag carrying octopus, but uh, that's what I got. All right. So it's only been 20 minutes. I apologize. I know we had a few minutes on the other end, but so I did use my lap freedom ring on my tissue paper at least. Cause I was like, wow, you did that whole first part and you didn't even end up using it. But I did, I did. So that is, that is it for this week, I think, because it's pretty busy. I don't think it really needs anything else. 25 in the books. So thank you so much, you guys, for joining me, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And like I said, please like and subscribe and um, leave a comment because I love to chat with you guys. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye now.